I bring you tonight the fifth of six in a sermon series entitled, A Light to the Nations. Please receive this. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. Amen. She was born into a world of masked women, men, and children. It was April 2020. When she looked up for the first time, she saw doctors in masks, nurses in masks, her mother and her father in masks. She saw her brothers in masks. She saw her grandparents in masks. And the world around her was masked. She learned from her earliest hours that eyes and voices were her cues to discovery. She would look intently into the eyes of the masked people around her and see the crinkle corners in their eyes, the colors of their pupils. She would see laughter and love. She would see curiosity and magic in those eyes, all there in the eyes. And in their voices, she heard soft lullabies, whispers of love, encouragement, and full throttle sounds of words spoken fast and furious in her direction. The eyes and the voices spoke to her. What she was missing were the smiles and the facial expressions hidden under the plain and sometimes colorful masks. She was missing hugs and kisses from anyone outside of her bubble. She couldn't read the movement of lips. She couldn't follow the syncopation of sound coming from the center of people's faces. So she learned to read eyes and interpret sounds and nuances of voices all around her. Were they kind eyes and voices? Were they angry eyes and voices? Were they eyes and voices of sadness or happiness, seriousness or joyfulness? And she watched the ears on all of these people too because they were usually tugged down under masks that were too small for the earlobes. All the while she was thinking, that looks funny. She was working on understanding often while socially distanced, although that was not yet a part of her vocabulary. Slowly and methodically, the masks started to come off the faces of the women, men, and children all around her. Slowly, smiles and frowns, sadness and seriousness, joy and delight became known to her in the faces that all began to fit together. The hands, which once felt like latex, now felt smooth and soft, rough and worn, young and old. Then one day, she felt the fullness of love from all around her, from her parents and her brothers, from her grandparents and others. They wrapped their arms around her. This was new. They held her close and kissed her with hands and voices and eyes and lips, all working together, saying, I love you. It was different. It was beautiful. It was complete. She felt the warm and tingly feelings of love. Love became real in real time with real people. She started hearing about that time that there was another child in the world, like herself. She heard how special he was, and she saw him. He was maskless. He was in a manger. This child was filled with love and delight. This child was truly beautiful and reached out to her with his little fingers and his pointed toes and with eyes that shine pure light, with a smile that radiated pure love. She liked this child. This child was placed before her at the first Christmas she experienced in Christmas 2020. She felt his warmth and his love she was told he was her child, too. She was told that he would save the world, although she really didn't understand what that meant when people would say it. 
This maskless little wonder was fascinating and wonderful. She would hold him in her hands and hear stories about him at bedtime. Her parents and her brothers loved him too. And her grandparents and others, everybody loved this child. As Christmas passed in 2020, she didn't hear much about this little wonder child. He seemed to fade away and disappear at the same time that the masks reappeared and came to stay. And then it happened. Just a few weeks ago, he returned. Now, almost two, she had words and expressions of her own for her baby. She heard her mother say, unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. Unto us. Unto us. Unto us. These words stuck with her. And then she heard his name as though it was real for the first time. Jesus. That stayed with her too. Her baby was named Jesus. Just this week, she snuggled into her own bed with her baby doll. She gently held him, her tiny unmasked child. She looked into his eyes of love. She touched his tiny mouth with smile and laughter. She held his tiny hand and feet in her hands, and she thought, I love this Jesus. As she was falling asleep the other night, her father heard her sing on the baby monitor a whispering song of love. Unto us, unto us, come baby Jesus, come now. Unto us, unto us, come baby Jesus, come now. Soon she was asleep with her child in her arms and the hope of his coming still whispering on her unmasked lips of praise. Tonight, it all makes sense as she's falling asleep and preparing for the morning ahead. Unto us, unto us, come baby Jesus, come now.